Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, school is officially back in session. Well, Lenata doesn't start back to the 25th, but I've been seeing all these little kids going back to school in their cute little birthday outfits. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous at the same time. So I am praying for all your babies to be healthy and everybody who's walking into that school to be healthy and that God protects them to their journey of the school year. Because I know that it is a risky year for us. A lot of moms are just nervous. I know I'm a nervous mom, but... I feel like it's going to be a great year. It's good for the kids to kind of get back out into the surroundings of being around their kids and being able to socialize and not being cooped up in the house. Because if you like me and Lanai, it's just been me and her for like the past 18 months. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been tough, but we made it through. She got her education where it needed to be. She is now going to the fourth grade. So I'm just praying for all your guys' babies to continue being happy and healthy and that they enjoy the the rest of their school year because it's gonna be a fun and interesting one but anywho I just got finished unloading all of my groceries I'm not sure if you guys do it or not but I am an instacart mom I love instacart I literally just had three drivers come to my house and drop off all these different groceries because I order from three different stores but I am an instacart mama I it, it's a lifesaver and this is not a sponsored video at all but for me, when I'm so busy all day, trying to balance it between being a mom, with the nice gymnastics, editing, working, all that good stuff, I don't have time to go to the grocery store and shop around searching for groceries that I need. Like, I just don't have the time for that anymore. So Instacart is such a lifesaver. So if you guys haven't used it already, you should definitely check it out because it's just... It's literally godsend. <laughs> like, I guess I can call me lazy by all means, whoop de doo, but I literally love me some Instacart. They just, they be coming in handy, and I always have good experiences with the drivers as well. So, it's just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. <laughs> all right, so now that we can go ahead and get started with all the goodies that I had got for back to school, like, um, just to kind of give you guys out there, there is going to be some sweets and treats in here because why can't our kids go to school and have some sweets and treats? They've been working hard all day, so it's nice to have that little, nice little junk food to eat just to kind of give them that boost of happiness. So, yeah. Anywho, I had got some yogurt. We love little yogurts. This is a nice little yogurt to make with parfait. You can add some salsa bananas with it with some strawberries. Definitely a great little snack for them to have with their lunch. I had gotten this 40 pack, pack of chips because how can you have lunch without chips? We need lunch to sell chips. But I had gotten this 40 pack of chips. I had gotten this from Walmart and it has all literally all her favorites in here. So that's the reason why I got it. She has Lay's. She don't really eat Doritos, Doritos or Cheetos like that. She'll eat it from time to time, but she won't eat it like that. But it has her Ruffles, her Fritos, and her Funyuns, and her Smart Chips. I'm the main one who eats the Doritos. So they're my favorite. <laughs> And then I had got some graham crackers. You can make these graham crackers with some s'more dips or even just parfait dip. You can dip it in their parfait. And so these are a nice little handheld snack to have for lunch. And then we had got some Lunchables. I actually got two of these, I believe. Did I? Yeah, I did. So I had gotten two Lunchables. I had this one is the ham and cheese. And this one is the turkey and cheese. And it comes with just the chips and then their little water and um, juice singles and then their sandwich. This is like a great little, if you're feeling lazy and you don't have time to make lunch, throw this in the lunch box and it'll be good to go. And then we had got some beef jerky because Lanai loves her some beef jerky. And so I will add these into her lunch box as like a little grab held, handheld snack. And then some fruit, of course. This is actually for right now because it's not gonna be good when it comes to school season. So we're just gonna be snacking on those because we love our fruit. And then I love these little crustables. These are my all time favorite, especially like for morning times where I'm getting ready for work and we don't have time to eat a whole breakfast. This right here with a side of banana and some milk or something. It's a perfect breakfast on the go. So these are perfect. And you put these in the freezer, you thaw it out that morning or that night before you wanna eat it. And it's literally the perfect little thing to use. And then I had gotten some healthy oatmeal bites. I love these. You can get these from Publix. These are a nice little healthy little snack as well. She doesn't really care for them, so these are mainly for me. But I love these little snacks. And then I had gotten some Stone Fire pita chips. 
These are a nice little handheld um, snack as well. You can either fry them up, put some cinnamon and sugar on it, or you can have like a little hummus dip on the side, or any kind of dip. If you do chicken buffalo dip or anything like that, you can put it on the side and dip it in there. So these are nice. So I also got some TV dinners. These, I can't even say the last time we had TV dinners, about, about two or three years that she even had a TV dinner. This is just kind of something that's to throw in the freezer because there's gonna be days where we come home super late and we're not gonna have time to cook a whole meal. And so either we can do like a sandwich or she can just grab one of these and just throw it in the microwave. It's really nice and simple, kind of quick meal. It has macaroni and cheese, it has meatballs, it has green beans. And then this one has macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, and uh, broccoli. And this one has the same thing, macaroni and cheese, meatballs, and green beans as well. So it's just a nice little quick little thing to kind of throw in just in case you're a busy mom and you work late or you have a child who does as an athlete. And so it's nice to kind of have those backups when you don't plan ahead of time. So I definitely like to have that. And then I also got that as a macaroni. Another fun thing with this macaroni, I have never <laughs> made this macaroni a day in my life. And so it's going to be pretty interesting, but I did see that a lot of parents use these for um, their lunches. And so I wanted to try it out. I will let you guys know how that goes because normally I make my macaroni from scratch. I don't, I don't know. I'm just never used it. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully she likes it. Lanai likes any macaroni and cheese, so I'm pretty sure she will like it. But it's going to be interesting to kind of see how this turns out because I never actually have this macaroni and cheese at all. But it looks really simple and easy to make. So I'm excited to look to do this because it said it only takes about eight minutes. So homemade macaroni and cheese takes longer than eight minutes. So I'm excited to try that to kind of put that with her lunches that she go to school with. And I also did have another um, TV dinner. And this one is just with the grilled chicken some chili sauce, macaroni cheese, and corn. And then we had got some Nature Valley soft baked muffin bars. These are really good on the go snacks as well. Or say, for example, they have PE, they had a little snack afterwards, a nice little snack to grab after they have their PE. And then here's some of my little sugary sweets. I have got her some cookies. So they have Oreos, they have the, um, the golden Oreos and the Chips Ahoy. These are nice little things to kind of throw in her lunches as well as a little nice little snack that she can have after eating all her other healthy foods. And so just to kind of have that little sweet of joy because you know kids love their sweets and it's not our job to deprive them of sweets. We had sweets growing up so I think it's a good little nice little sweet treat to throw in there after their long day of schooling. So we have that and then we also have some more chips. We have some Pringles, and then we have some sour cream Pringles. These are her absolute favorite. She loves these, and so I had gotten two packs of those. These are actually $5 at Walmart, and it comes in a pack of 12, so that's literally not bad. I paid $166 for everything that I got, so I'm super happy about that. And then we have some honey buns as well for a little quick little snack, sweet snack. We have some Nutty Buddies, we have some strawberry shortcakes, and then we have some brownies. I didn't mean to buy the big pack, but I did, so oh well. But um, we have some brownies as a little sweet, and then we have some oatmeal cream pies. Is it like oatmeal cream pies? Yeah, okay. So we haven't had like junk food in the house in a long time. <laughs> so I decided to switch it up a bit. She is getting older, she is eating a lot more, and she is burning a lot of energy and calories at gymnastics three days a week. So I think a nice little sweet treat would be a little nice kind of gesture for her. And then I had gotten some fruit snacks. So a quick story about these fruit snacks. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> so I had brought these fruit snacks for the first time um, two weeks ago. And I brought a box of 40. So normally we have our rules where we only have certain days we can eat sweet treats, you know, because we don't want to indulge on sweets a lot. And so <sighs> I bought a box of 40. Two weeks later, the box of 40 was gone. To find out, Lanai's been eating the whole box of 40. She's been having, like, we don't, we have a rule too that we can't eat in our rooms. And she had. I'm, I'm, I'm going to insert a clip so you guys can see what I had to deal with two weeks ago. Well, technically last week. So she's been on punishment because she's been, she knows better. So that's the reason why she's on punishment. 
But she literally ate the whole box. And she you now she told me she said it was just good. She said it was good. So yeah. I'm gonna show y'all what she did. But anywho, so this time I'm gonna actually put these in a place that she can't get them so that I can track what she's eating and not allowing her to indulge on just junk food and then she's gonna be feeling sick. So yeah, it was a hot mess. But anywho, I had also got some um, goldfish. What? <laughs> I had also got some goldfish, which is a nice little handheld snack as well that she can grab for her lunches. And then we got some peanut butter um, single packets. I love these so much because you can use these with apples. You can use these with celery. You can use these with crackers. You can use these with the little pita dips. Like... It can go with so many things. So I think these are so great when you just throw them in a lunchbox and they can just use them. So even for after school program, she has her snacks for after school. So these are just perfect little individual peanut butter jars. I love them so much. And then I had also got some marshmallows for her s'more dips and stuff like that. And then I had gotten some pretzel crisps. I love these. These are so freaking good. If you haven't actually opened them already, because they're so good. But if you haven't had these already, you have to try them because mm, my favorite. The funny thing is that I've never had it before. I have. We went to, where did we go? We were actually on our first trip flying out here for Thanksgiving weekend to find apartments and stuff. And this old guy next to me had some. And he was like, you want some? And at first I was like, no. And then like five minutes later, he's like, you sure you don't want none? So I tried some of his and I fell in love. I was like, oh my God, these are so good. And I love pretzels in general, but these are just, these are like, just so good. Really good. No, we were at the No, we was at the airport. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I also had to gotten some tuna. We love tuna. Tuna is our favorite. We love making tuna sliders. Tuna sandwiches, just tuna, anything. We love tuna. And I love sushi too, so we just, tuna is a great little lunch to have. And usually I don't put it in her lunch because I'm just not too sure how it will be when it gets to the school by the time she eats it. So I don't want none of that bad bacteria to kind of start setting in. But we do these a lot for like after school when she gets home. We have like little tuna in the, in the refrigerator that she can grab and like make a quick little sandwich. Or um, just like on a regular weekend, we'll, we'll have like tuna sandwich or something like that. So tuna is always a great thing to have in the pantry because we love it. But rather than that, that's pretty much it. This should last us like the first month and a half of school normally. And then I'll go ahead and do another haul of everything else that we get the additional time. I like to switch it up every month or every month and a half or two so that we can have different things. The same thing over and over. And so I like to kind of do that just to make sure that we just change it up, make it different, make it more exciting because school lunches are fun. So yeah, if you gotta do a school lunches, let me know. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these groceries away and get the day started. I am gonna be doing my, my front entryway over, so I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. But let's go ahead and put these groceries away.